Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the AI Associate Certification, which I just got yesterday, so it's a little fresh in my mind, and let's get into it. A little bit about the exam. There are really cool trails. There's a trail mix and this really cool module called Salesforce Certified AI Associate. This one has really cool practice questions here. So you can just like click into it. This module is really awesome as this one is the only one with actual practice exam questions. I was surprised by Salesforce's content. The depth in which they go into topics like neural networks is pretty amazing. This is the first time I properly understood what weights and biases were. Neural networks are what supercharged deep learning, which is what caused the AI revolution, which happened in the past few years. And Salesforce gives a really great rundown on this topic and it goes really into depth, but it also makes it really accessible compared to if you're reading research papers and things of that nature. So this is a little bit about the exam. It's like 40 multiple choice questions. It's a 70 minute time frame. This is the AI associate exam guide straight from Trailhead. And you could give this a good read in yeah, like the 40 questions. And basically there's the four topics and the percentage uh, breakdowns. So AI fundamentals, AI capabilities in CRM, ethical considerations of AI and data for AI. The one thing I wanna highlight is that it's not just an AI exam, but also a CRM AI exam. So you wanna know a little bit about the Salesforce product, such as Einstein and the different capabilities it has. And as I said before, this is the data for AI describe the importance of data quality and you can read about it on my blog post or look reference that cheat sheet. I wrote a blog post about data quality is everything. Has this ever happened to you? After loading the existing data for the first time, she ran a test report. She found the report data summaries were far from the total she saw in the spreadsheet. So Linda did a little bit more digging, searched different things, and she's found that there's a lot of duplicate data. After Linda reviewed the original spreadsheet, she found that duplicate entries were in dozens of rows. So this is just a pure case study of, sure, it doesn't, sure, you can have fancy dashboards and things of that nature, but data quality is where everything is at. And there's a really cool cheat sheet that they talk about called the data quality dimensions. This is a really cool cheat sheet and I'll go more in depth into it later, but this is one of the really important topics. I plan to make a course on this subject because I found the material really accessible to everyone. And I think a lot of people need to be skilled in AI and just learn the basics of what neural networks are and things like that. And once people understand that, people can understand a little bit more about what they're buying into when buying AI products. Thanks so much for watching guys and see you in the next one. I hope this was a really helpful video for you guys.